so yeah okay you i think this revenue pareto looks uh, better but can we see both of them together probably after we look at them together we'll be able to answer the question which was asked uh, about how do i organize the fc right let's see if 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 we can plot them together on one graph is it possible you can't do a pareto uh, in pareto you need only one axis so difficult to do two dimensional i mean i guess you can do something you need a three dimensional picture or something but uh then if you want to try a scatter plot type of thing maybe we have done that we did that scatter plotting of volume on one axis yeah. and revenue on the other maybe that is yeah. useful right i mean yeah maybe it's not a pareto, yeah. but yeah. it won't give you pareto but at least it gives you a distribution of the things on yes. two dimensions yes yes i think that, that that should help that should help let's that should help right yeah okay yeah okay okay let's look at let's look at the scatter so again omkar uh, this is uh, what we did we basically look at uh, uh, the sum of the volume yeah. and the sum of the revenue for the 30 skus yes and uh, okay. then what we what we've done is we've plotted the revenue on the y axis and the volume on the x axis okay Uh, so the blue It's dots are basically the SKUs. Yeah. The orange dots are the lifestyle SKUs, and the gray dots are the mobile SKUs. Yes, this looks interesting. But I think there is something which is happening here. Uh, all barring the three of the highest uh, volume SKUs, right? One from each BU. Yeah. Right. Is getting aggregated in one corner of the graph itself. So. Maybe if we can, yeah, all, out, all it will be a better view. We have a scale. We have a scale problem because one item in each of these SKUs is skewing yeah. the scale quite dramatically, right? They are outliers. Yeah, right? Can we take the outliers? Outliers. Let's see. Yeah, let's see here how it looks. Can we do that? So the outlier. So do we want to remove the outlier and examine what is remaining? I mean, does it make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let let me let me do that and uh, come back. So uh, this is what I did, uh, Jivan Omkar. I removed uh, the top uh, top selling yes. SKUs in each of the uh, each of the business lines, and now actually a little bit better spread. I think we are. Yeah. This that. looks much much more evenly spread. let's uh, i think this is more useful for uh, answering the question which was asked to us by mr shastri right uh, he wanted to organize his uh, fc in the best possible way so let's say you draw a couple of lines let's say start with a vertical line between let's say somewhere between 200 and 300 volume this will definitely okay. bit uh, the, the sqs which are moving fast right let's say anything about 250 is what we'll call a fast moving sq these are the skills so yeah, let me draw it here okay. yeah 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 that should be good yeah. something like this yes so ideally okay. it is a fast mover so i should store this as close to the dock as close to the processing area as possible within my fc right so i can offer a much right. better speed i'll i'll have much lesser efforts for picking so that's a very good cut but um oh. if you look at it i can see a clear cut differentiation between the sqs let's say which are about um i think one thing will help if you put commas there but okay. uh, if i draw a horizontal line also somewhere between 10 and 20 then that will give me okay. i think all of them are mobiles right up there yes that it does seem like that yeah so all of them are actually have value items right so i'll need to right. special type of storage i'll need to keep them in lock and key or a cache pallet or something which which will give me more security in terms of their storage right yeah yeah, yeah. once on the right needs a secure storage near dock but, but once on left will need probably secure store but it can be anywhere if, if it happens to be close right. to, i'm fine right but which are uh, once on left but bottom corner the fourth quadrant that we have third quadrant that we have um they can be scattered any, anywhere then you know you're going too fast for me just just let's go slowly so what you're saying is that i've drawn a vertical line yes. around that 250 line right yeah. 
Yeah. Now, yeah. what are you saying? The ones, the SKUs which lie to the right of the line are high volume SKUs. That's right. So, what did you say we should do for them? So, ideally, they should be close to the processing area. They should be closer to the customer, you're saying. Be, uh, no, within FC, I'll store multiple uh, SKUs everywhere, right? Okay. Now, the fast movers, if I store closer to processing area, processing area is where I pick and pack and dispatch to customer. Oh, there's something else called processing area, all right? Yes. So, oh. they, so when you order, right, uh, uh. I have a naked mobile phone. I will not dispatch that to customer, right? I'll put it in a box. I'll put some. Oh, you'll put it in a box and all that. Yeah, okay. I'll uh. put some bubble wrap around it, put it in a box, uh. and it goes right. to customer, right? That's so, that is, that, that is the packing area. Where is usually where is that? So if you say terminal value, there'll be one in terminal value. No, no, each FC will have it. Each each FC will have it. Okay. has a storage zone and there is a processing zone. Processing area. So oh, inside the, comes, oh, I understand. So inside the FC, you're saying yes. you will store these SKUs closer to the place where the packing is going on. Correct. You know which which is the best FC I can uh, give an example about? Uh, is your kitchen. <laughs> okay. Right. Because all the food is, is <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah, there is there is food storage. There is a raw material storage, right? Oh, right. There will be rice, ghee, uh, dal. Everything nearby on shelves. Everything, yeah. right? Oh. But the processing area is where your platform is. Processing area is where your stoves are. Right. I see, like that. And so you're saying that wherever packing is being done inside the FC. Yeah. I need to store. I can't have all the SKUs sitting near the packing. Correct. So those F, those SKUs, which are moving in very high volume, you want to keep them very close be closer to, to your uh, packing process. where they do the packing. Correct. So what is close to your stuff is your salt and uh, your uh, ah, right. atta and stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. The closest to the uh, stuff. Correct, correct, correct. Because that is used most often, right? So this vertical line has helped us to understand how to organize the SKUs inside the FC. Okay? Inside the FC. Yeah. The ones yeah. to the right will be closer to packing area and the ones to the left will be swollen Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Now you drew another line while I was talking. Another line yes. horizontal line. So horizontal line. Well, horizontal line also I have drawn. You have drawn yeah. a horizontal so line. Horizontal line talks about uh, the SKUs which are precious need a special storage. Right? Precious. Costly. 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 Okay. Right. Or they need special storage essentially. Right. For example. Okay. Then, even if I use cheese every single day in my sandwich, I'll not keep cheese next to my stove. Right. I'll still keep it in refrigerator. Fridge right. only. Yeah, yeah. Fridge yeah. only. It's a lock and key. For for that matter, mobile. However small cost or however big it is, I'll still keep it in the area which is secure, which is lock. Secure and key. area. Because even if a single mobile is lost, it's a huge financial loss to me. Right. Right. So high value items, things which are, yes. which are generating a lot of revenue, you want to put those SKUs in a secured zone, in a secured place. Correct. So it may not be close to the packing area. <laughs> may happen to be close to packing area. May be close to the packing. We don't. That will be dictated by. Okay. So if I look at the grid again, let's say there is quadrant one, two, three, four, right? Quadrant one, I will need secure, but anywhere. Order. Might want to label it uh, with some text. Yeah, that is. Yeah, we need A, B, C, D, or some something like that so that we can refer to that. So I will call this A. Okay. I will call this uh, B, maybe. Yeah. I will call this B. All right. And I will call this B. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's talk these quadrants now. Now we already said something about B and C together. That will be close to packing area. Yeah. Yeah. So B we and said C something C about A and B together. Secure area is what you Correct. said. Uh, no, A and B is secured area. B and C closer to packing area. All right. It happens to be the stepchild that can be anywhere. Hmm. D can be anywhere. Yeah. D we don't care. Hmm. Uh, maybe just need to move C a little bit. I think it's not coming clear where, where the quadrants are. Yeah, this is better. Okay. 
now uh, now omkar do you want to explain what is abcd yes we'll we'll do that again yeah all right so now that we have drawn the lines let's name this quadrants abcd so that we can refer to them now let's look at this so um the sqs which fall on the right side of vertical line which are in quadrant b and c are all the sqs which are moving faster right so if i store them within within a fulfillment center i'll like to store them close to processing area now if you want to ask what is processing area essentially that is the process that is the area where your order will be packed it will be bubble wrapped and packed in a box or a or a polythene bag and it will be dispatched uh, for your destination right so only the fc will be divided into two parts one is which is storage area one which is processing area now orders which are faster need to be close to processing area however if i look at high value items let's say whatever is above the horizontal line all these items are high value items you are talking about uh, maybe 15000 plus uh, cost for a single item so i don't want to lose them right so ideally what i like to do is i like to put them in a secured storage now secured storage oh. could, could be a almira with a lock and key or it could be a cage pallet it could be any form of secured storage however i like to keep them safe yep and see if i want to organize the fc which mr shastri was asking i'll rather keep items in quadrant c very close to dock very close to processing area items in quadrant b very close to processing area again but in a secured storage quadrant a i would like to keep them secured but it could be anywhere in fc and items in d could be literally anywhere fc in fc wherever i have space now i cannot keep constraint for all so the d's are are the fillers they can form anywhere they can fit anywhere so this is typically how i'll organize my fc so that my cost of picking is least so that the person will not have to travel all the way in the depth of fc to pick up something which is required more frequently and i don't want many people to move around that uh, that uh, uh, area again and again and hence i'll i organize my fulfillment center in this way so that i get maximum cost efficiency from picking perspective which i'll pass on to my customer for best price it's very interesting i think yeah this is I mean, we didn't expect that we will generate so much insight from this scatter plot but it's nice very nice that's something else right? said... huh that's the story part why yeah that's the story end of the day if they don't imply something on ground doing data analysis is of no use no use yeah mm -hmm. So, Omka, you also said something that struck me. You said always put commas in these numbers. Yes, absolutely. That readability is very important. I keep on saying this often. Oh. Often, my consultant in me always uh, bothers myself about it. I just use currency oh. format. Wherever your source data is there, just use currency format. Uh, yes, so I will just make this. So I. I take this and I. Uh, what should no, I you do? don't need to. I, uh, you don't need to change it here. Just go to the source data. Okay. Okay. And uh, this is our source yeah, data. So yeah. 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 Here, just so this. And make it general, in general currency with zero decimals. Currency with. I don't know with. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> currency oh. is coming with rupee symbol, but I that that's fine. That should be okay. that's okay and uh, this i will now take this and i will paint this yeah. uh, here as well as here yeah okay and yeah so it okay immediately gives me um, readability right i i can see immediately its number is 1 crore right right all right, right. Yeah, right. so uh, otherwise i'll have to stop and count zeros and counting zeros is not easy Correct. you make mistakes more yep. than that you make mistakes yes yes yeah. 